I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play City of Brass. This is a sort of first-person, almost run-and-gun type game, uh, but it is set in sort of a, a medieval Arabian Nights uh, setting, kind of Prince of Persia-esque in a way. Uh, I've only played the tutorial of the game, uh, but it looked fun, so we'll just go ahead and start the game and learn together what it's all about. Okay, so it looks like I have a character select here. Uh, we start out with the fool, possibly the traveler as well. Let's just start out with the base character. Uh, having traversed the bewildering dunes with the help of a borrowed amulet, the fool raised the city of brass from the sands and entered, little knowing that he would become as cursed as the city itself. Yes, yeah, so the uh, tutorial kind of explains the backstory for the game. Apparently the city of brass was sort of this uh, mystical paradise. See, the people who used to live here uh, had built such a, a glorious civilization that uh, they didn't really want to. They didn't really want to do any work. So they summoned a bunch of genie to do the work, and they made one a sultan. And that somehow, through magic, genie magic, made the entire city immortal, uh, which ended up biting everyone in the butt because that means that they could not die. So they are now the undead. And uh, from what I gather here, the city had disappeared and the fool somehow managed to bring it back into existence. It's kind of neat that they add that in here. Uh, I'm not really sure how deep the game is otherwise. But anyway, uh, the fool probably has some pretty basic attacks here. We've got uh, our sword, a whip, which is actually pretty cool. The tutorial goes through how this is used, and you can use it to stun enemies, uh, bring them forward, or push them in, or excuse me, pull them into traps, and you can swing and do acrobatics and stuff. And I'm guessing that this is just my outfit. I don't know. Uh, blessings and burdens. I don't appear to. Ooh. Uh, increased player damage, increased player health, fewer enemies, and decreased number of traps, dropper of rarer, rarer items. Uh, g reduced genie cost, I'm not sure what that means. Remove the time limit. Let's try that, because I'm not a super huge fan of time limits, especially when I don't know what I'm doing with the game. Decrease enemy attack rate. Can I just turn all of these on? Oh, oh my. Well, uh, this looks like it's going to make <laughs> the game a lot easier, but that's kind of okay. <laughs> For now, anyway. Uh, this, I imagine it's going to reduce my points if such a thing exists. But anyway, let's just go ahead and start. Uh, so, pretty simple controls. It's your basic run around, WASD keys, and uh, attack with one weapon with the left mouse button, attack with your other on the right. Playing with Divine Blessings disables some leaderboards. That's fine. I don't have any uh, desire to have a dick measuring contest. So, that's fine. The journal entry. Should we, should we even look at this? No, it's just a dull sword. Fit for cutting bread. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I've got my basic sword attacks. Uh, there are destructible things in here uh, for items and whatnot. Um, we appear to be on the outskirts of the City of Brass. I also have my whip, which is pretty useful. And already there's a little bit of jank, which I did also notice. Uh, drink potion. Sure, let's just see. Oh, what's it? what is this? It has no idea. It has no idea what this is. So let's find out what it does. What could possibly go wrong? Distillate of the storm. Okay, a pulsing storm of lightning stuns those around you. For how long? I don't know. But let's go. Oh, okay. Disable traps uh, for a fee. So apparently we can hire these genie to do that. I don't have any money though, so... Oh, that... Oh, it looked like there was a trap thing. Oh, there was a trap. Frick. <laughs> so actually, this potion has now become more cumbersome to me because now I can't see anything. I guess we'll pick that up too. Uh, pick that up. So we're buying a lot of stuff, or, or collecting a lot of stuff right now. Um... Oh, that's what that is. Well, not anymore. Uh, but I'm collecting things that I can use to... Vessel of Volatility. Uh, use to make purchases with. Um, I wonder if there's enough in here to collect that I could then... Alright, let's do this one too. What the hell? 
Cure of Transients, a temporary blessing of extra hearts. Curse of Transients, <laughs> not Cure. And it made me lose my thing. Oh, there it is. Um, there's not enough coinage to go purchase that disabling of traps. Okay, pretty pretty simple enemy there. Uh, Abazul, the trafficker. I can buy a cudgel of refutation. What is that? Oh my god. Why would I... Okay, fine. Let's just... Uh, plate of porcelain? Sure. I think I'm probably going to need more am armor. I said amul. What is that? Okay, so I can stun him. And then kill him. What do I want to do? That looks explosive. It is. Not really sure what that's doing for me. Maybe just getting me out of the way, I suppose. Uh, all sorts of traps and stuff all around me. That looks like a somebody. Okay. The half man. Well, okay, so I maybe should have actually, uh... There we go. What else can I buy? Not that, but I let's get a, a better cudgel, perhaps. Let's see what this actually does. Sends enemies flying, even as it damages them. Okay, cool. There is a lot of explosive stuff around here. What is this? Another one? Uh, that I can do nothing with. Hmm. So, uh, I guess this is... Perhaps just... Can I can I swap out? I don't think I can swap out. Um, forget the controls already. There we go. Okay. So, one thing that the whip is also good for is... Uh, actually pulling items, treasures, and whatnot towards you. Oh. That's neat. But it doesn't get me... Ooh. Aha. Uh-uh. Secrets already. Secrets. There is a secret. Lots of money. Okay. Let's load up here. Does not appear to be fall damage. That's pretty good for me. Uh, the Lash of Reach. The Tongue of Silver. We'll just buy that. What did this do? Extends painful influence of your Lash. So I can Lash longer now. Okay, so there is also uh, a mechanic. I appear to be going very slow. What is this? Oh, that's why. I must have hit the uh, the slow button. So, uh, oh my god. The, uh, the control scheme for this game is a little bit weird because you're basically sprinting all the time, but you can toggle that off. But... Uh, the toggle isn't just like a, a hold down the key thing and wait um, for it to be. What is this? It's terrifying, whatever it is. It's like a servitor. Um, it, it it's on all the time, basically. So you're you're toggling. Um, you're. Wow! Stop it. You're toggling. By hitting it, you're, you're toggling your crouch and, and crawl as, as sort of a permanent, always on type thing. You know what? I feel like I need to go back here. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, which feels a little bit weird because usually you really only need to hold it down as long as you need to use it. So I feel like it's a little bit cumbersome to have it toggle always on. I suppose maybe that's a little bit more convenient um, as far as the control scheme goes if you're uh, trying to run around a lot. But it also doubles as the slide, as, as we saw when I was trying to demonstrate it earlier. This feels like a trap to me, so I'm thinking I'm just going to bring it my way. Um, so I can see myself having problems already where I'm trying to do one thing and because now we have doubled up uh, controls that that's going to cause me issues. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. I see. We already came this way. 
I get you. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab it. A lot of tossable explosives. Plus it is. Summon a companion. Sure. Yeah. That didn't do anything. But. I can whip him there. Now, how do I. Ah, it's Q. There it is. So I can use Q to uh, pull things towards me. Which means that I could have pulled that servitor thing towards me into that trap. As I will demonstrate here. Okay, well, I guess maybe not. I must not. Uh, Alright, I, I think I'm going a little bit too slow for what seems like it probably should be a very action-packed... Uh, I probably don't want to hit that close to myself, do I? I almost made a mistake. Hmm. The thing about these kinds of games is that once I know there's secrets in them, I am very, very, very cautious about walking past things. I definitely don't think I need to do that. Man, there's so many explosives. I feel like that takes away from a lot of my options. There is a sneaky bugger up there. Okay, well, that was that was a mistake there. Let's uh, demonstrate the slide again. Yeah. So, hey, can I? There we go. Cool. That was a very explosive thing. Let's keep getting some monies. Uh, one thing that uh, the tutorial does go over is that you can actually do sort of a jump and grab thing, which reminds me a lot of uh, the Prince of Persia, the, the new Prince of Persia games, I should say, um, the, the 3D action ones. Well, you know, new being relative. Um, but that's another thing. An unguent of harm fires deadly darts from my body. That's fun. And that's the exit. Interesting. Level 2, Forbidden Markets. So, obviously that was probably made much easier by all these things that I've got going on. I've got less enemies, less traps, all that stuff. Um, but let's just continue on, because it looks like maybe this is... Oh, nope, this is level 2. Level 3 will have a boss. So every 3, it looks like there's a mini-boss, and then there's the full-on boss. I wonder how many different worlds there are. Ooh, is this a... Oh, no. It's an end. It's your glow. I was wondering what the hell happened to my weapons. Okay, can I get up in there anywhere? Looking around. Uh, so this is... Uh, I believe these are actually from Persepolis. Like, you can see those in real-world Persepolis. So it's definitely trying to uh, bring in the feel. However... Uh, Arabia and Persia are not the same places. Uh, I don't need more health. Just pick up more goodies, though. Trade that out for a lantern. This is actually pretty pretty devastating. Um, same effective thing, though, really. So, who can I bring to... There is no trap in here, but I can go ahead and stun these guys. And honestly, I don't see you doing anything, bud. Ooh, what is this? The Curse of Solomon. Voice of the king himself shall strike fear in all those who are cursed. Very interesting. I keep hitting the wrong button. I imagine I can get out of that with the same... Oh, there's a trap. The same, uh... scheme. Okay. Okay. So, uh, very simple control scheme. I definitely can't complain. Um, I think maybe I've done myself in a little bit by making it too easy with all my with all my add-ons. I don't even know where those came from. Are those a default thing or? Oh, come my way. There you go. And that's what you can do. You can cheese it just a little bit. Now, uh... Ooh. Can I... I can. I can make my way back out. I don't think my companion... 
Hmm, he appears, he looked like he was gl glitching out just a little bit, but, uh... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nope, nope, come my way, come my way. Oh, I grabbed my... Grab my companion! That sucks. Okay, how do I get... Nope! Ooh. Okay, I actually hit the wrong button, but the wrong button actually ended up saving me. So that was apparently the right button. So we're going a completely different way. Now there is a map, but I appear to have not picked up anything that gives me this map. I'm kind of tempted to see what this does. Nope, that didn't do it. Um, there is also a push ability. Ooh, ooh, he doesn't like me. He doesn't like me at all. Uh, wish. Atoll the Hurler. Channeling dark magics, Atoll casts forth fireballs to scorch and slaughter, but with a wish, those same fireballs turn upon your enemy. Okay. Did I... Did that cost me something, or... Because I didn't see a price attached to that. I wish for a map! Because I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff. I feel like maybe there was a secret way I should have gone back there. Uh, what have you got for me? Hammer of Quaking. Souls of Abrasion. Mmm, I'm not sure I want that. It doesn't tell me anything, so I'm going to have to buy it to probably unlock it. Alright, let's see what it does. Your running slides will now scrape against those you trip, wounding them. Oh, that's cool. Um, I got enough for this too, so now I've got a Hammer of Smite. Whatever that's useful for. Let's pick up this thing. And let's just keep going. I'm not even sure if this is the right way or if it circles back. I imagine it does. What are you? Demon chicken! Maybe I maybe I should have picked him up instead. We will I meant I meant to stun you. No, just just a load of treasure. Cool. I have to say I really do like the aesthetic of this. I uh you know, I didn't actually see there there was a leaderboard for score and all that, but I didn't see if there was a multiplayer aspect to this because this would be kind of fun for a I, I apparently can't pick this up. This would be fun for kind of like a, a multiplayer quake type thing. I mean, that's not really my jam. Oh. Oh, oh my. Um please tell me that there is a healing somewhere. There is some some sad noises coming out of this. Wow, that uh, that was quite the slide. Ah. Okay, well he just walks into it and dies. That's cool. There's got to be something, right? Some way to get up there? No. I wonder. Uh, hmm. 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 Let me let me try. Let me try. Let me try. There is. Aha! There better be some damn good up here. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. Uh, the, the jump over gaps thing. It's kind of iffy. Ooh, that was a lot. This was totally worth coming up here. I wish there was something else I could maybe jump up there with, but... Yeah, I, I definitely do like the... What was that? Oh. I was thinking maybe that was an enemy I could pull into the trap. What? I'm close enough for that to hurt? Okay, my slide is far more effective. Ooh, I got real... Oh, he, he's not dead yet. That was his hat, apparently. Um, the hammer does actually do something different. It uh, is slower. Got him good there. That was effective. Okay, what can you give me? I've already got that, I've already got that. Horn of Warning. Sure. I'm not sure what it does. Uh, you always know where your nearest enemies are, and there is a trap here. There's got to be something up here. Death. 
Oh, okay, I see. Somewhere along the line, I have picked up two lamps over there in my coinage. So that must be what has given me uh, the ability to get the wishes. I was wondering about that. I was wondering if there was going to be a cost associated with that, because that just makes sense to me. Really. Okay, that's kind of annoying that you, you can see it, you can get the thing, uh, but you can't actually touch it unless you are on the same level. I suppose I could have whipped it to me, so I, I can't really complain about that. That was just me. But, you know, I mean, it, if it looks like you can get it, then I feel like you should be able to get it. I don't know why we, why we just did that. Money, money. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you can long jump this, or maybe I can... Nope. But that is the exit. So, okay. I, okay. So, you know how in, uh, like, Doom and Wolfenstein, like the... Well, especially Doom, how the, the elevator at the end of every level always looks the same? That is totally what this reminds me of. And I guess in a way, this kind of is, you know, a first-person shooter Doom-type thing. I am, I am so nervous about this. Um, but I kind of like that, actually. I kind of like the the you know this is the end thing. I don't know why this is necessary unless they start putting traps underneath this carpet. I guess it's just something fun to run forward. The tortured dwellings. Uh, okay, let's try this. Let's try out a mini boss and then we'll see where we are. Oh. Our find and defeat the gatekeeper. Cool. Um, pretty pretty sure these are Babylonian, and or even earlier Sumerian, possibly Akkadian, somewhere in between. Um, Mesopotamian, which uh, I mean, I, I'm, yeah, it's technically modern day Iraq. I'm not really. I'm sure it probably was encompassed by the Persian Empire at one point, but I'm not sure. It's really cloak of obscurity. How long does that last? I am missing some hearts. Somewhere along the line, I've been taking damage. I can also wish. Uh, Abizul's stocks change on a whim. He will always be open to trade for a price. A wish will reveal his most rare items. Okay, let's try that out and let's see what that does. Wish. Fleet of foot? Cool. Element of surprise. Uh, strip of ignition. Does that... That's a fire whip, then? I can only imagine. Well, so I could get fleet of foot, which, of course, it doesn't... Just there. <laughs> um, I can get Fleet of Foot and the Whip. Sure, 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 sure. We do this. And so now I've got Hellfire igniting it at the merest touch of my Whip. And Fleet of Foot, which hopefully quickens my pace. Okay. I, I, was, I was just going to say that I, I hope it's not a uh, temporary thing. Oh, how am I going to... How am I going to... There we go. We open that. <laughs> Don't know what that was. Sounded very female, but uh, probably a sorcerer. Let's. <laughs> I didn't even see what it said. Oh, are you? <laughs> okay. So you can see in the bottom right corner how long this lasts. Is, do I get flying power? I can't open any chests. Interesting. So, why do I drink those? Because so far, I think most of them have been incredibly negative. Um, open? Jets of gas. Okay, let's go the other way. There's always a little hidey hole up here. Kind of cool. I'll grab that. That'll probably help me out just a bit. Ooh, here, here's the way forward. Oh, I didn't actually mean to grab that. I meant to ignite it. Well... 
Hmm. I, I honestly have no clue which way to go. Traps? Many traps. This, oh, this seems like a very dangerous way to go. And should, because of that, provide me some, uh, some reward for the difficulty. One would think. So is there a way... Okay. Now see that time it let me let me be just fine. Can you even get to me, dude? Hmm. Ignition. I I do like the whip. So I'm pretty interested actually, uh, to see what the other characters do. And why you would want to play. <laughs> sure, whatever. Grease of quickness. Ooh, ooh, I can see this being a bad thing. I'm gonna stumble into a trap and get myself killed. Somebody behind me. Okay, yeah, I definitely... Well, that is the only reason that that helped. Don't do that. Alright, so one thing that I can definitely say uh, right now is that I don't think it's really like a traditional first-person shooter. Um, you are actually pretty darn weak mm, to Distillate of the Storm. Oh, that was the one. See, I don't... I can't see, and I don't like that. There's the gatekeeper, and I am at half health. Oh, jeez! Okay. Well, let's see how well we do. Defeat the gatekeeper. Oh. I have to find the gatekeeper. Oh, boy. I have not been paying attention to where anything is. This could be... This could be a problem. What do you got for me? Disable traps. Done. But, did you... Oh, okay. Ooh. Not a fan. There we go. You have to be very precise with your hits. Okay, this feels like this should be the boss arena, given how many explosives there are. Hmm. Hmm. I heard you. Okay. This is not going well. I need to find me a genie who can heal me. That's not what I meant to do! But I got some money out of it. Okay, it's nice to see that the enemies can actually destroy terrain as well. That's kind of a nice touch. Trap should be disabled. Ah, there is a healer. Heal me. That's it? Oh, uh, maybe if I'd paid more, I would have gotten... So this is the direction I guess I didn't go. 
So I came here, didn't really miss out on anything. Alright, well, I am kind of lost. I don't really want to just go wandering around, waste everyone's time. Am I supposed to climb to that? I don't know. No. Hmm. We'll swap out for this thing, because I still don't know what it actually does. Now, there was a path this way that I did not go. I feel like I've just majorly missed something. Aha! Uh -huh. Shooting at somebody. Gamble. Uh... Sure. Bad luck. I failed. Okay, so I think it just means I didn't win anything, as opposed to... That sounds bad. Oh, Jesus! Where the hell am I supposed to be going? Well, I clearly have not been here yet. I'm pretty sure I saw in the settings. Oh. Well, now. Now I wish. Now's not really the time to give me a what's this? Not really sure what I'm. I don't want to bank the item just yet. I feel like there was something I was supposed to have disabled. No, no. See, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna hit the what's this when I'm staring right at the guy. Like, are you kidding me? Once a leader of all magi now doomed to her decision to protect only herself. Grand Sorcerer has killed you zero times and you've managed to take it down zero times. It has done one damage to you and received nothing from you. Alright. Makes me think that there is... Do not, do not slide. There's got to be more going on here. Oh. Clearly missed something. There's got to be a way to take down this force field. There's nothing indicating that I'm destroying the health of that or anything, so it's got to be somewhere. Now, there were a lot of explosives around here. Maybe... Maybe you just keep using these? Or a wish? <laughs> it's too late to use the wish on the guy, I'm pretty sure. There is no wish. But I didn't see anything. And in, in everywhere that I've been, I did not see anything that would indicate 
that there was some kind of... Oh my god, how do I even get out of here now? I don't even know how to backtrack. Uh, that there was some kind of mechanism for, you know, destroying like three orbs that disables the shield or something like that. So do you really just keep hitting it, or...? I feel like this is to my doom. It's gotta be, right? Why the hell would this exist otherwise? Well, I don't know how to beat the boss, so let's just try this. Okay, well, that works too. Killed by the Abyss of Darkness. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to do with that. Clearly I missed something, though. Uh, either that or you really do just hammer away at that shield until it disappears, but... I don't know. Um, that was interesting. I'm sure there's some information in here. Somewhere. Probably. I can only imagine. Artifice of Impalement? Okay, that's just... Hmm. Enemies? A Cursed Guardian? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that was City of Brass. Uh, kind of a, a fun game, um, until I stumbled upon that. But, like I said, um, I feel like this easily could have fit in, uh, in sort of a, a Quake era, where it's just, a, or, you know... Uh, GoldenEye 64, or any of any of those other kind of multiplayer run around and, and bash each other in a in an arena style game, um, I think this would be very suitable for it. Um, I definitely think that the things that I chose probably killed any challenge because it felt very slow. Um, like I did take some damage, but I feel like that was really more based on my own mistakes as opposed to the difficulty of the enemies. And you definitely have time. Like, unlike Quake, which is just, oh my god, run full speed all the time, uh, I, I could definitely just hang out for a minute and catch my breath. So, even in that regard, um, it didn't feel even as challenging as, you know, Doom or, or Wolfenstein or anything like that. But, uh, again, I perhaps <laughs> took away any challenge putting on all those, uh, all those modifiers at the beginning there. Still though, uh, I do like the aesthetic, and for what it is, I, I think it's a pretty simple and fun game. Um, I just kind of need to learn a little bit more about it, I feel, uh, before I can go along and uh, explore it to, uh, to its fullest and, and see what it's actually about. I can only imagine that the final boss, after you beat those gate guardians, must be something along the lines of like an arena battle or, or whatever, but if the bosses are going to be as obscure as that one, or maybe I'm just being an idiot, um, I don't know. I, I definitely think that uh, I'll have to look up some things to know how to actually play the game. But uh, anyway, that has been City of Brass. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next Let's Play.